insect nutrition nutrition concerns the chemicals required by an organism for growth tissue maintenance reproduction and the energy necessary to maintain these functions many of these chemicals are ingested with the food but others are synthesized by the insect itself in some insects microorganisms contribute to the insect nutritional requirements achieving optimal nutrition involves a complex interplay between feeding behavior and post investigate processing of food insects must eat appropriate amounts of suitable foods but avoid ingesting harmful excess of toxins and nutrients how nutritional experiments are identified most insects have qualitatively similar nutritional requirements because their chemicals composition and metabolic capabilities are broadly uniform variation among insects arises from adaptations to particular diets or associations with microorganisms that provide specific nutrients the best route to establish the nutritional requirements of an insect is to quantify its performance survival growth reproduction on chemically defined artificial diets containing and lacking the nutrient of interest because the composition of chemically defined diets is known and can be manipulated it is possible to determine whether a nutrient is required in the diet and across what range of levels such a one nutrient at a time approach does not deal adequately with interactions among nutrients however here the level of one nutrient influences the requirement for others suitable chemically defined diets have not been developed for many insects some species can be reared on meridic semi defined diets that include complex constituents such as wheat germ protein hydrolase or plant extracts with careful experimental design and interpretation nutritional information can be cleaned from insects on medic diets as it's illustrated by various examples in this chapter insects requirements for some nutrients is evident within a few days and certainly within a single generation this applies particularly to micronutrients such as amino acids carbohydrates and some lipids the dietary requirement for micronutrients such as vitamins and minerals can take two or more generations to be evident because the nutritional requirement of one generation is met from maternal supply generally via the egg amino acids amino acids are required for the production of proteins which are used for structural purposes as enzymes for transport and storage and as receptor molecules in addition some amino acids involved in morphogenesis triosin is essential for cuticular sclerotization and tryptophan for the synthesis of visual screening pigments others g amino butyric acid and glutamate are neurotransmitters various amino acids are used as a respiratory fuel with proline as a particularly important energy source for flight in various insects including the cc fly glossinia coloroda potato beetle leptinocera decimilenata and various scarabdid beetles most insects derive their amino acid requirements from dietary protein the nutritional value of protein depends on its digestibility and amino acid composition the key functional requirement is for the 9 to 10 amino acids that's contribute to protein but cannot be synthesized by insects these are called essential amino acids the amino acids that insects can synthesize 
are termed non essential amino acids and if the supply of just one essential amino acid is insufficient the insect cannot grow whatever the total dietary supply of amino acids nine of the essential amino acids are common to all animals and are often termed the rat essentials because the landmark nutritional studies were conducted on laboratory rats many insects and juvenile rats need a dietary supply of arginine because this amino acid is synthesized via the urea cycle at lower rates than required for rapid growth non essential amino acids are synthesized primarily in the fat body although other tissues can also be important the pattern of non essential amino acid synthesis can vary widely across different organs of a single insect for example ammonia derived from the degradation of protein in a blood meal consumed by the female mosquito aedes aegypti is incorporated principally into alanine in the fat body and into proline and glutamine in the midgut although insects can synthesize all non essential amino acids their sustained growth is generally impaired by gross dietary imbalance for example development of some diptera including pulex mosquitoes is arrested on diets lacking prolines aspartic acid and glutamic acid are required for growth of promia blow flies and alanine and either glycine or serine are necessary in addition to the essential amino acids for optimal growth of the silkworm bombyx mori generally proteins contain approximately essential and non essential amino acids at a 1 is to 1 ratio although there is much variation and insects tend to perform well on a balanced mix of dietary amino acids carbohydrates carbohydrates including simple sugars starch and other polysaccharides are important components of the diet for most insects they are the usual respiratory fuel can be converted into lipid and provide the carbon skeleton for the synthesis of various amino acids in addition insect critical characteristically contains the polysaccharide chitin all insects can synthesize glucose sugar by gluconeogenesis utilizing metabolic intermediates derived from lipid or amino acid breakdown and some insects can grow rapidly on artificial diets containing no carbohydrates this is true of the larva of the screw worm fly which feeds on live animal tissues and carbohydrates can be replaced by wax in the diet of the wax moth gilaria nevertheless most insects so far examined require some carbohydrates in the diet and perform best at the particular dietary proportion of carbohydrate relative to the other nutrients that differ according to species lipids fatty acids phospholipids and sterols are components of cell membranes as well as having other specific functions insects are able to synthesize many fatty acids and phospholipids so they are not usually essentially dietary constituents but some insects do require a dietary source of polysaturated fatty acids pufas and all insects requires sterols fatty acids from a homologous series with the general formula cn h2n p1 c o h in insects they are present mainly as diglycerides triglycerides and are usually dominated by skeletons of 16 to 18 carbon atoms palmitic 16 is to 0 palmitolic 16 is to 1 stearic 18 is to 0 wolisic 18 is to 1 and the polysaturated fatty acid linolis 18 is to 2 and 
linolenic 18 is to 3, 16 is to 0, 1 by 4th of 16 carbon atoms, no double bonds, 18 is to 1, 1 by 4th of 18 carbon atoms, one double bond. There is, however, great variation. For example, triglycerides of antinomous V wheels include 23 fatty acids ranging in chain length from 6 to 20 carbon atoms and the dominant fatty acids in ephid triglycerides are myristic 14 is to 0 and exonic 6 is to 0 acids. A dietary requirement for PUFAS has been demonstrated in various Lepidoptera, Coleoptera and Arthoptera. When fed on diets lacking PUFAS, these insects variously develop poorly. Diet at ecdysis or display depressed fecundity. The deleterious effects of diets lacking PUFAS are commonly evident in the first generation, but it can be important to test for a dietary requirements through at least two generations because lipids supplied in egg of some species can sustain in insects requirements through one full generation. Some insects are independent of a dietary supply of these nutrients as revealed by multi-generation diet experiments and parallel demonstrations of lipid biosynthesis. These insects include Uterinomopsis termite species, general scavengers such as the house cricket Acado domestica and cockroach Periplaneta americana and plant sap feeders such as the P. aphid Acrithospion pisum and white fly Bimesia tabacae. One size class C20 of PUFAS is important as precursors of viscosanidase which are oxygenated metabolites, especially of arsenodonic acid 20 is to 4. The eicosanidase include the prostaglandins, the exopriocrostronic acids and lipopoxygenes metabolites. They have been implicated in various aspects of insect physiology, including induction of egg laying in crickets, regulation of cellular immunity in Lepidoptera, Diptera and Homoptera and control of fluid secretion rates in tick salivary glands. They can be synthesized readily by insects from C20 PUFAS, but the dietary requirement for the C20 PUFAS varies widely among insects. Some species including larval mosquitoes require a dietary supply of some example Lepidopteran ephistia can synthesize them from dietary supply of C18 PUFAS while others can synthesize C20 PUFAS for acetate. Insects are unable to synthesize sterols which are essential components of animal cells membranes and precursors for ecdysteroid hormones. As a consequence, most insects require a dietary supply of sterol, although a minority obtained their sterols from symbiotic microorganisms. The key sterol for many species of cholesterol, which acts as a membrane constituent and precursor in the synthesis of 20 hydroxyloagdizone and other C27 steroid hormones. The availability of dietary cholesterol varies with the type of food. Most animal products contain ample cholesterol, while plant and fungal food stuffs have little or no cholesterol, but contain various other sterols. As a consequence, many phytophagus and fungi vorous insects metabolize the ingested sterol to cholesterol via poorly understood dealkylation reactions believed to be mediated in the gut. Some phytophagus and fungivorous insects, however, have limited capacity for sterol declination. They may 
incorporate dietary sterol other than cholesterol into membranes with little or no modification. So, sparing their cholesterol requirement as ectosteroid precursor. In addition, certain species including some diptera, epitopteran bugs and the honeybees synthesize ectosteroids from photosterols without removing the side chain alkyl group. Their C29 ectosteroid macisterone A has the same structure as 20 hydroxyl ectoisone but with an extra 24 or methyl group. Various insects additionally utilize sterol derivatives as pheromones and defensive compounds. Example, cholestinone is the trial pheromone of tent caterpillars, malacroscosoma, and the highly toxic steroid cardinolides are synthesized and stored in the defensive glands of chrysomelid beetles. A few insects with specialized feeding habitats have a unusual and very specific sterol requirements. Most notably, the catalopitic Drosophila pece feeds exclusively on necrotic Sinita cactus of the Saron Desert and has an absolute requirement for D7 sterols, specifically 7 cholesterol and 7 compostenol vitamins. Vitamins are organic compounds required in trace amounts for sustained growth. Vitamins are classified as either water soluble or lipid soluble. Water soluble vitamins have a far shorter half life in insect tissue than lipid soluble vitamins, which tend to accumulate in lipid stores. The chief water soluble vitamins required by insects are vitamin C, ascorbic acid, and the B vitamins. The response to dietary deficiency of these vitamins appears to be much less specific in insects than mammals. For example, mammals exhibit well-defined symptoms such as barberberry, vitamin B1 deficiency and scurvy, vitamin C deficiency, while insects generally display non-specific growth defects in response to a shortfall in the dietary supply of any water-soluble vitamins. Our understanding of vitamins function in insects is largely explored from vertebrate research. Vitamin C acts as an antioxidant and presumably as in vertebrates, promotes the synthesis of collagen and the extracellular matrix in insects. The B vitamins function as cofactors in various metabolic pathways including decarboxylations, vitamin B1, thymine, flavoproteins, vitamin B2, riboflavin and cytochromes, vitamin B3, niacin. In ATP production, acyl group transfer reactions, vitamin B5, pantothenate, amino acid metabolism, vitamin B6, biotin and 1 carbon transfer reactions, vitamin B9, folic acid. Additional water soluble vitamins required in very small amounts by some insects include choline, carotenin and carbonoblaminin, also known as vitamin B12 and lipolic acid. Among the four lipid soluble vitamins of mammals, insects have a requirement for the vitamin A complex B carotene and related carotenoids and vitamin E tocopherols, but apparently not for vitamin D calciferols or vitamin K phylloxyquinone. Vitamin A is required as a functional component of visual pigments. The amounts required by some insects are tiny. For example, in one classic study, the dietary requirement of the housefly Musca domestica was revealed only in the 15th generation on vitamin A free diet. By contrast, Phocasticaria red on a keratin free diet display reduced growth and delayed development in a single generation. Vitamin E is important for reproduction of insects including spermatogenesis in the house cricket 
Achita domestica and egg maturation in the beetle Cryptomelemus montessorisi. Minerals Various metal ions are required as coenzymes and in metalloenzymes examples include copper in cytochrome oxidase and phenol oxidase, iron in catalase, molybdenum in xanthamine, dehydrogenase, magnesium in glucose 6-phosphate and zinc in alcohol dehydrogenase and malatropretiases. These elements are nearly always present as impurities in artificial diets. Insects additionally require sodium, potassium, phosphate and chloride for cellular ionic balance. Importantly, the requirement of most insects for calcium and iron is considerably lower than in vertebrates, which utilize these elements in bone and hemoglobin synthesis respectively. Insects that utilize hemoglobin as a respiratory pigment presumably have a proportionately higher iron requirements than those that do not. For this reason, commercial salts, mixtures, example, Venson mix designed for vertebrates are not suitable for many insects. Nutritional effects on growth and development, reproduction and lifespan of insects. Variations in the quantity of quality of an acceptable diet can have profound effects on an insect development and lifespan. Eating too little is obviously detrimental to performance. Commonly, as food intake decreases, our nutrients balance becomes suboptimal. The duration of development is extended. Sometimes, with insertion of extra larval stadia and the insect becomes smaller and lighter in weight. The quantities of protein and amino acids ingested are important for optimal growth and reproduction. There are many examples of insects feeding on natural foods in which growth and reproduction are positively correlated with the nitrogen content of the food. However, it is not correct to assume that the more nitrogen, the better rather there are performance cost to ingesting excess as well as deficits of protein and other nutrients. Insects develop the equivalent of obesity on a diet with an excess of carbohydrate. That there are the evolutionary cause excess lipid storage is evident in laboratory selection experiments. Hence, the propensity to store excess ingested carbohydrates as fat in caterpillars of the diamond back moth, Plutella xylostella, changed with consecutive generations of rearing on diets of differing protein carbohydrate ratios, high carbohydrate, low protein, obesogenic diets resulted in caterpillars becoming less prone to depositing fat, whereas caterpillars maintained on a high protein, low carbohydrate regain developed greater lipid stores when offered excess carbohydrate food. Nutritional balance affects reproductive performance and lifespan. When confined to one of 28 diets varying in protein and carbohydrate content, adult female Drosophila lived longest on a diet containing a 1 to 16 ratio of protein to carbohydrate, but produced most eggs across their lifetime on a 1 to 4 protein to carbohydrate ratio. When allowed to select their own diet composition, they mixed a diet comprising a 1 to 4 protein to carbohydrate ratio. Similar differences between lifespan and reproduction are found in crickets, trifid fruit flies, ants and bees. The immune response of insects is affected by dietary nutrient balance. Spodoptera littoralis caterpillars infected with either a bacterial or viral pathogen survived better as the ratio of protein to carbohydrate in the diet was increased. Uninfected larvae in contrast performed 
based on an intermediate nutrient ratio. When offered the opportunity to select, infected larvae mixed a higher protein diet than did uninfected larvae, a case of nutritional self-medication. Differences in nutrition may also produce profound differences in coloration, morphology and other features of the phenotype. This phenomenon is termed diet-induced polyphenism. For example, caterpillars of the spring broods of Nemoria arizonaria resemble the oak cactins on which they feed. They are yellow with a rough cuticle and have two rows of reddish spots along the midline. Caterpillars of the summer brood resembles stem. They are green-gray and are without the rows of spots, feed on leaves and have larger head capsule and mandibles than the spring broods. These differences result entirely from differences in the quality of food eaten by the insects, although the chemical cues are not yet known. In the honeybees, the quantity of food given to larvae by the workers determines whether the larvae will become queen or worker, with the effect being mediated by a protein, rhyolactin. Contribution of Symbiotic Microorganisms to Insect Nutrition An estimated 10% of all insects utilize diets that are nutritionally so poor or unbalanced that they depend on resident, beneficial microorganisms for sustained growth and reproduction. In some insects, the microorganisms degrade complex dietary components to a form that can be assimilated by the insect. Other microorganisms have a biosynthetic function and they are considered here. The chief nutrients that insects derive from microorganisms are essential amino acids, especially in insects feeding on plant sap, vitamins, insects feeding on vertebrate blood through the life cycle and sterols, for example, in various insects utilizing wood. The role of microorganisms in essential amino acid synthesis is one aspect of various ways in which microorganisms provide solution to a widespread nutritional problem for insects. Nitrogen hunger as is considered first.